I am Art Ross. Welcome to Cross Culture New Mexico. Today we're going to be talking about the prophecies of how Messiah must enter the temple with authority, according to our source out of the Old Covenant, Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Now Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 and 3, is the fulfillment in the new covenant of this prophecy, as well as Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 through chapter 24, verse 1. Today we're going to cover Luke chapter 2, verses 27 to 38. And this is what Luke says. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, and that's also in Matthew 4, verse 1, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. Out of Genesis chapter 46, verse 30. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Isaiah 42, 6, Acts 13, 47. It's about revelation, the revealing of the word becoming flesh. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. They were amazed. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against as prophesied in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 14. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Psalm 42, verse 10. And there was one Anna, prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, who was of a great age, and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. Acts 21, 9, and Joshua 19, 24. And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. 1 Timothy 5, 5. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. And that's Luke chapter 24, 21, Mark 15, 34, and, of course, Jerusalem in Israel. Luke chapter 2, verses 45 through 50 says this, When they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. When they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee three, thee sorrowing. Have you done this? Why have you done this to us? Mary asked. Them. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? They were looking for him. They should have known that he must be about his father's business. And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And that is also in John chapter 7, verse is 15 and 46. Now we're going to close with John, the Gospel of John chapter 2, verses 13 through 22. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went to Jerusalem. Exodus 12, 14. Found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. In Mark 11, verses 15. When he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew 
the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence or away. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Psalm 69, 9. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was the temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days, or build it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body, according to 1 Corinthians 3.16, 619 and 2 Corinthians 6 16. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. And that's also in Luke 24, verse 8, speaking of the scriptures. Be sure to join us online, Cross Culture AM. Follow us on Twitter. We're on LinkedIn as well as other social media sites. Visit our website, crossculturenm.weebly.com.